Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to make beautiful screenshots like this or this or maybe like this one and you can use these on your website or social media or anywhere else you need them. This will work on Mac or Windows since all of these are online tools and they are totally free. Tip sweat punch. Check the description for any links I'll mention in this video so let's dive into it. Now let's say I want to screenshot this uh, tweet by Elon Musk. Uh, on Windows it's quite simple, all you have to do is go to your search bar and search for snipping tool and either you have this old snipping tool or you might have the new one with Windows 11 but they work the same way, all you need to do is just grab a new screenshot like this. I like to use the snipping tool because then you can select what you actually want to have. So for example if I like the comment here I can add it also like this. So now I have the screenshot and on Mac it's even simpler because you don't need any apps. You just press on shift plus command plus four and you hold these three keys together. Then you'll see a little crosshair and you just drag over the, the spot you want to screenshot. So now here with this snipping tool all I have to do is click on copy or I could save it here as well. And then I head, then I have head to the first online tool, which is called Screely. This is probably the, the simplest one of them. Next, you can upload the image just here. So you just choose here from your files or you can just paste it in. So, so press on control plus V on Windows and then command plus V on Mac. But you obviously needed to copy that screenshot beforehand. Otherwise, just upload it. So you can see the whole tweet is here. Here I can choose uh, the, the type of window I'm in. Right now it's browser, but I could choose no window. Uh, and it's up to you how you use this. Notice that there's here shadow. If you want to turn it off, you, can, you have that option here. And also if you want the dark mode, but it doesn't do anything now because you have the window type switched off. So if I turn it on, you see it changes the type. I'm going to turn it off. I think for the tweet, I don't need it. I can choose the background here. So for example, if my brand color is like this, uh, I can use something like this. And you can also paste the hex code here if you have certain color that you use. And you can adjust some padding here. And then you can simply download the screenshot. Then we have prettysnap.app. And this is probably the most funky one. I really like this one. I'm going to paste my tweet here. So again, control V. You can see that it has really cool background images or patterns, whatever you call them. And you can start adjusting things here. So you can adjust where the tweet shows up. Also a bit of the size if you want to. Uh, and here you can choose the patterns. So for example, I do like this uh, anchor thingy. or But I could also change it to something like this with dots. Or some crazy stuff like this. Let's keep it to something simple. XOXO. But you can also change here the color if you want to. You can see it's like this. Let's make it a bit less visible like this. And now the X and O's just kind of blend in there. I like what I see now here. There's not many other options you can do. So let's download this image. And then you have this last option, Pika.style. This probably has the most features, but also a lot of features that are hidden under the pro account. Again, here, I'm going to paste my image. It shows up here nicely. I'm going to delete this one. I don't want to it show up. Uh, there's a lot of uh, settings here. What I like a lot is, for example, here you can uh, choose the canvas options directly. So, for example, if you like InstaPost, all you can do is uh, click on this and it will resize it in the correct size. You can choose some of the colors here. You can see that you cannot choose custom colors, so that's kind of sucks. But you can choose one of these if you, if, you, if you like them. And then when you're happy with it, just save the image. Now for the Mac users, there's even a cooler tool called Snappier. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one, uh, you install it as an app to your Mac and then you can use it instead of the default uh, screenshot tool. And the cool thing is it comes with all the features that we already kind of went through. You can see here in the video that you can adjust quite a lot of things like the color and the shadow and things like that. And even add a watermark to your screenshot if you need. Screenshots are essential for your website, but even more critical are high quality images, videos and illustrations. I'll show you my favorite libraries for free stock images in this video right here.